Hello everyone, if you are running an online business with a Weebly website, you will need to make sure you have a secure and reliable payment system in your place to accept payments from your customers of course. In this video, we will show you how to add payment methods to your Weebly website, including how to set up payment processor, add payment buttons and customize your checkout page. So let's dive in and start setting up a payment system that will help you sell your products and services online in 2023. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, first thing first and as always, I will need you to go to the URL section on your browser. So simply go ahead and go to this section over here or in the middle. So let's go. Here search for Weebly and from here just click on the first website that will be appearing for you which is this one. So let's go to it and simply as you can see create your website through here. So click on create your website and they will take you to that page. Here you just have to sign up. Simply, you have to put your first name, last name, and some simple creation of account steps. So let's do that real quick. Here, Lori, hello, and you just fill everything else by yourself. So email, uh, email, and here password. And as you see now, I have created the account successfully. Click on here to add a number to protect your account no more. Or else you can just click on read me later. So let's do this and continue to Squarespace or to square up. Now let's wait a little bit. And they took us back here for some reason. So let's do that once more. I have no idea what is this bug about, but let's do that. So as you can see, all right, this is really bug as you can see. Let me just do this again. All right, here as you can see, I want a personal website. So let's try Weebly website. And here you are going to select a theme. So as you can see here, simply just choose a theme that will be fitting your kind of business or portfolio, or whatever it is. So here you will find multiple kinds of themes that will fit multiple kinds of domains from business, portfolio, personal, events, blog, and here you will find some coming soon. So it will be, well, it's not available for now, and then others. So for example, for a blog, you will have these kinds of templates, events, these kind of templates, personal as well, and the same go for portfolio. And you may say that there are some limited amount of templates that you can use. Well, yeah, this is the case because you have the free version. So let's keep going with this free version and let's choose this one. Here you have to choose and pick the kind of um, the template that you'd like. So let's choose this one, I guess. Um, I will go for another one, actually. So, okay, let's go for this one and let's click on it. And then go to start editing through here. Like that, we have went into the actual website, we have created it, we have everything ready. So right after you create your website, all you have to do, simply go to settings. So you can click here to go to settings, or you can just click on X from here. So both are working very, very well. So from here, all you have to do is go to settings once more through here and click on this checkout. Now they will take you to a page where you can choose the payments method that you'd like to have in your checkout. You have a bunch of options from Square and Stripe and Pipo. And finally here you will have country currency. So here you can change the currency if you'd like. Anyway, for Pipo unfortunately you can't really use it without having the premium version. You can get the premium version for like these these prices so let me just show you here will be checkout and these are the premium version that you can have there is the personal one that will give you the main feature which is publish your site to a custom domain name professional one it has all free plans features plus 
plus publish to a custom domain, uh, no square branding or ads, password protected pages. The performance one, it has all the other features as well, except PayPal payments, item reviews, abundant cards, emails, and advanced reporting, which is the one that you are looking for if you'd like to have PayPal as your payment method. And finally, this one has, this is the premium one, it has 72 per month, and it has lowest processing rate and real-time shipping rates calculator. So these are the future that you will have the most and if you'd like to see more features you can see here and compare them with each other and see which one you are looking for and what the, which one will satisfy your uh, goals the most so let's close this and go back to this page all right here we go so square is the most used used payment method on webly as you can see so it is the recommended one. So all you need to do to actually connect it is go to connect. So you can choose either square or stripe. So you just have to click on connect. And here simply you can connect to stripe. So you can either create a new stripe account or you can connect or create or log in to a new account that you have. Here you have the location. So let's go f through it one by one. So for example, I have already a Stripe account or I create a new account. So all you have to do is choose a location, which is United States, USD, and then click on connect. After you finish with that, they will redirect you to Stripe. So you are almost there. You just need to finish setting up your Stripe account. So let's finish setup. As you can see, they open this little page where we can create our Stripe account. So just put here your email, it is as simple as that, here we go, and then click on continue. Here you just have to put the password, and it must be something around this, and you will be ready to go. So in my case, I have to connect to my account, and I will be right back to you guys. Back to you guys, now after I have logged into my account, I will just do some basic stuff. So I will just choose location of my business. And the type of business now you click on continue and here you'll have to verify your personal details so put here your first legal name last legal name email address date of birth home address etc and here the last four digits of your social security number when you fill everything through here you just have simply to go through it one by each by each and finally when you finish with that it will send you like a request to verify everything so they will ask you for a picture of you and you will be in this picture holding a paper of the today's uh, date with your credit card or like your id card or with your social social security number card uh, next to you so they can like verify everything and make sure that you are not scam or like fake and then after they verify you, this not active red button or red notification here, it will turn to active with a green color. When it does that, that means that you have connected Stripe and it is now as your payment method and you will be ready to go. It is as simple as that and fast like later on, you can just come here and edit every little thing through this section so you can choose the tip in if people want to tap you customer input what is the thing that you require from your customer for example phone number add customer note collect recipient address email marketing custom account uh, store policies you can add here the policies and advanced settings so you can add uh, edit this checkout mode and the default for film method so as you can see here, you can like literally change literally everything. So thank you guys for watching this video till now. I hope you liked it. I made like the points or the main things that you have to know about and where to go to be able to add the payment method. I hope you liked this video and thank you a lot for watching. Bye bye.